Yakutsk is the capital city of Yakuti in Siberia. A January morning and the traffic is normal. The weather is warming up from minus 55 to minus 40. We are walking fast to keep warm. I meet my travelling companions, Eric and Pavel, the owner of Bakel Nature. Pavel, are they smoking the meat or what? In this low temperature, all products are frozen naturally. This stall sells horse meat. Wild rabbits and partridges. Here are different wild red fruits. The locals wear a mask to avoid freezing their lungs. We're off for a thousand kilometer drive. Lunch in this nice restaurant. We take a shortcut on the frozen river Lena. We stop at a coffee shop. It's quite fresh this morning. <coughs> A cheap meal for only two euros. The toilets are not heated. Horses have to scratch to find grass. Tonight we will sleep in a villager's apartment. Clean and warm rooms. Our bus has to be parked overnight inside a heated garage. Each morning we fill up the tank. We are now driving on the Bone Road, where during Soviet times, thousands of convicts were buried on the road. A good meal in this Cuban style restaurant. We continue on our drive. 
We arrive in Tom Top, where we will stay for two days. Pavel, don't tell me we will sleep in an igloo. Okay, better. We will stay at Susanna's home and enjoy her wonderful cooking. A popular WAS four-wheel drive bus. Driving now to the coldest village in the world called Omiacon. We meet Yves, a French cyclist riding a thousand kilometers. His main problems are punctures. Because of low temperatures, the tubes become brittle. His wife tells us of his ordeal. We finally arrive in Omiacom. It's here that the lowest temperature has ever been registered. The god of cold is meeting us. At only minus 40 degrees, it's warm. <laughs> The restaurant owner is pretty in her traditional Yakut costume. Don't disturb me, I'm too busy. A photo of our group. We drive back to our lodge. Susanna shows us her ten cows in the stable. Feed storage. In this temperature, we can bang a nail in wood by using frozen fruits. <laughs> the weather is sunny, let's hang out my washing. We 
Белые гуси лебеди Вслед маши руками Потянулись за море Провожай глаза Looks like it's dry, but it's as hard as plywood. Tonight, the folk group of Tom Top have organised a show. Morning, we were invited by the village shaman. We are going to visit a cave dug by the Soviets to keep food frozen. Thanks to the permafrost, the average temperature is between minus 8 to minus 12 centigrade all the year round. Beautiful ice crystals. Some pretty ice sculptures. Our 4x4 brings us to the top of the hill. We can see why these 4x4s are needed. Tom Tom Village is spread out. Look out, I'm going to show you how powdery the snow is. Now that is powder snow. The snow is so beautiful, I feel I could eat it. Mmm, it's
It is so good. We've arrived at a spring where our guide Pavel has promised us a cold surprise. With these low temperatures, the exhaust fumes are condensing. This cup of tea thrown up in the air becomes ice. This morning we fill up our tank as we are driving to the Lena Columns. The frozen river is our road. These two lorries are pumping water from the river to supply a nearby village. Delivering water for the animals. The cows are tough and have to adapt themselves. We are arriving at the Lena Columns. In the winter, the access is made easier. Let's find the rangers. A nice hut and a poor little freezing dog. Frost develops when you breathe at minus 42 centigrade. We walk to the top. Plenty of steps before we reach the summit. Everything is really frozen there. We can see how wide the Lena River is. Bravo, we've made it. Let's celebrate. <laughs>